Hi, this is Ryder with Pacific Coast Hobbies, and we are going over the DJI 450 build. You start off with your motherboard and going ahead and just soldering your ESCs to it. You go ahead and also pick the adapter you want. Here we have an EC3. Uh, a lot of people like to use the Deans as well. You can also see with the solders when you do your main connector, you also have your controller which goes to the same solder. So you'll have two reds and two blacks going on the center part right here. The next step is getting your motors together. And also make sure when you mount your motors that you use the correct screws. These are the three by eights. Once you get them mounted, go ahead and run the wires. And we go ahead and we run the wires through the first grid. And they'll end up looking like this. After that, go ahead and grab your screws or 5x5s and go and mount your arms to the motherboard. When you mount the arms onto the motherboard, go ahead and run the, the ESC cables down the center. This makes it look really slick and also it's easier to go ahead and run it to your controller. Now wiring the ESCs to the motors, you're going to notice that with one set we have them crossed and the other ones are ran straight across, they're firm down the line. That basically shows us that one's going to be running clockwise and the others are going counterclockwise. The ones that are crossed are going to be going clockwise. And those would be numbers 2 and 4. Numbers 1 and 3 go counterclockwise. You can verify this by going ahead and putting a piece of tape or just feeling the edge. And once you are done getting them wired correctly, we just use nylon ties and put them onto the arms. From there, go ahead and take your NASA controller and put it in the center of the motherboard. Make sure that the M side is facing towards your front. M through M7, that basically says your motors. Your first motor is M1 and they go counterclockwise. Make sure you go ahead and you plug them in the right way because if you don't, you can crash a copter. Now go ahead and start putting your wires into your receiver. And since we're using Spectrum, we have to go ahead and clip off some of the edges of your servo wires. And they will fit like this. Also make sure you plug them in the right way. You'll notice here that the lighter color of the cables are facing us. That is your signal wire. Make sure that you have that going the right way because if you do not, this will not connect properly and it will not work with your computer at all. The good thing about this though with your ESC and your, I'm sorry, the NASA controller and your receiver, you'll notice that for your uh, thrust, it goes to T, the elevator goes to E, A, the aileron, and R for rudder. From there you have U, X1, X2. Since I started off with 1.2, I went ahead and just left gear under U. That is preference on your end. I, you can go ahead and use aux for X1 and aux2 for X2. We could like to go ahead and put the receivers on the arms. It gives you a little more space and you can also see how slick it looks. It gives you a lot more space to get everything ran. You can also see what we did since uh, the binding is hard to get to. We ran a little pigtail adapter so on top of your receiver you can go ahead and bind it from the side with no problem. From there go ahead and put your top shelf on, the top part of your receiver, and then uh, you have your GPS you can go ahead and mount. And the last part is making sure your controller and your GPS are connected properly. You want to make sure that when you plug in your receiver, 
it just goes into LED and your GPS goes on the other side. And it looks like that.